Oh, sorry. I almost there we go. <laughs> All right. So like we're saying, the targets for today are I can recount the folktale, Bunny Yarl the flies and Waranana the bees using story elements. And then I can determine the central message based on the problem and the characters. Okay. So we're doing story elements. We're doing central message. And our story is called what? Who can tell us what our story is called? It's silly. Banana. Uh, Aaron. Bunny. Bunny Yarl. <laughs> Bunny Yarl the flies and we're none of the bees. Good try, Briella. Great All try. Right. So this is one where we're going to read to you. It's not that long. So you'll just listen while we read. Um, let me look. You should look like Briella looks while we read. She's focused on what we're doing. She's not playing. She's not walking around like London and like Daviana. Good morning, Daviana. We're reading Bunny Yarl in Waranana. All right, Miss Dishalai, I'll go first. Okay. All right, here we go. Bunny Yarl the flies in Waranana the bees. Once there were two groups of people, the Bunny Yarl and the Waranana. They were family and they lived in one camp. The Waranana worked very hard. They always gathered food, even when there was already enough. They did so, so that they would have enough later. The Bunny Yarl did not think about the future. They wasted their time playing. They never thought about getting enough food for later. One day, the Waranana said, come out with us. We are going to gather honey from flowers. Soon the winter winds will blow the flowers away. Then there will be no more honey to gather. No, said the Bunny Yarl, we have something to do here. And off they went, wasting their time. They knew that the Waranana would share their honey with them. The Waranana went alone and left the Bunny Yarl to waste their time. The Wuranana gathered the flowers and stored the honey and never more went back to live with the bunny yarls, for they were tired of doing all the work. As time went on, the Wuranana were changed into little wild bees and the lazy bunny yarls were changed into flies. That's a good story. It's it a really me, good story. Yeah, it reminds me of another story. Does it remind anyone else of another story that we read? Daviana, what do you think? What does it remind you of, Daviana? It reminds me of the, um, what? <laughs> ah! I can't remember what it was called, but I knew we did it yesterday. Yeah. The grasshopper yeah, yeah. and the ant. The grasshopper. Yes! Ah! Good job. Yeah. You remember. You just didn't think of the title. Good job. This is kind of like um, the ant and the grasshopper. How is it similar? London, how is it similar to the ant and the grasshopper? Because the ants may didn't like him, but then they did. They didn't like him, and then they did. Kind of. There's another problem happening here. Mm -hmm. Briella, do you think you know? know? What? I think Briella wants to share. Go ahead, Briella. You're muted, sweetie. There you go. Uh, um. How are they similar? How are they alike? They're alike by uh, because um, they're both gathering food, but uh, one of the teams are gathering food and the others are. Yeah, exactly. you're exactly right. In both stories, one group is gathering their food and getting ready for the winter or getting ready for when there is no more food. And the other group is like, no, nah, I got other things to do. I'm too busy. Um, I was going to say, Miss Tisha, I think we should read this one more time. We've had three people join in since we finished reading it. Perfect. And so friends who are just getting on, we're going to read this story one more time. And then we're going to talk about all of the story elements together. We just talked about how this story is similar to the ant and the grasshopper. Okay, so make sure your volume is muted if you're not already, so you can hear the story, okay? And make sure you're sitting in a ready-to-learn body. 
I'm looking at the cameras and I'm seeing some friends not sitting ready to learn. Thank you, friends. One more friend coming on. Just one second, Miss Shalay, before we start. Sure. I want to make sure everybody hears it. Okay. Here we go. Yeah. There we go. There are our buddies. Hey, bud. All right. This is called Bunny Are All the Flies and We're None of the Bees. You want to start this time, Miss Shalay? Sure. Okay. Once there were two groups of people, the Bunny Earl and the Wurranunnas. They were family and they lived in one camp. The Wurranunna worked very hard. They always gathered food, even when there was already enough. They did this so that they would have enough later. The Bunny Earl did not think about the future. They wasted their time playing. They never thought about getting enough food or water. One day, the Waranana said, come out with us. We are going to gather honey from flowers. Soon, the winter winds will blow the flowers away. Then there will be no more honey to gather. No, said the bunny earl. We have something to do here. And off they went, wasting their time. They knew that the Waranana would share their honey with them. The Waranana went alone and left the bunny earl to waste their time. The Waranana gathered the flowers and stored the honey and never more went back to live with the bunny yarls, for they were tired of doing all the work. As time went on, the Waranana were changed into little wild bees, and the lazy bunny yarls were changed into flies. Wow. I just love this story. I think it has such a good message. So... In the end of this story, the Wuranana become bees and the bunny arrows become flies. So think about what bees do and then think about what flies do and why they got turned into those animals. Just think about it. All right, so in case you just logged on, I'll remind you that your target for the day is gonna be to identify the story elements. And then on Monday, we're gonna work on writing the paragraph. And this is going to be the last time that we go through this process this Me way. Tuesday? Ms. Deacon, I don't want to interrupt, Tuesday. but on Tuesday, we'll do You're the right. paragraph. Yeah, I mean Tuesday. Sorry, Brennan. <laughs> um, all right, so we can talk through some of the story elements before we leave you to work, but we're going to make it quick because A, you've done it three times now, and I know you know how to do it, and B, it's a beautiful, beautiful day, and I want to make sure you all get time to play outside or relax outside, okay? So let's run through the story elements, be focused, and then we'll be out of here. Sound good? Adanya, Sounds please great. sit up. Please sit up, friend. If you're distracting me or Misty Chalet, that means you're probably distracting other friends too. London, what's up? Got her hand raised. Did you raise your hand, friend? You're muted, sweetie, if you have something to say. Wait, well, hold on. You had hold raised on. your hand. Did you have something? My hand's hand up. It was. I, I put it down. Your virtual hand. I and just, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> all right. So let's talk about the setting of this story. This story doesn't tell you like a, a real specific setting, but what would you say for the setting of this story? Briella? The setting of the The setting of the story is outside by the house. Definitely is outside. What outside, time, yeah. What time of year is it, Briella? What do you think? Um uh, spring? Maybe. It says um, all the flowers in the picture? They say soon the winter winds will blow the flowers away. So it sounds like winter is coming. So what season do you think it would be right before winter comes? Fall? Yeah. Good girl. Fall. I think it's fall or autumn and it's definitely outside because, you know, there are bees in it. Or I'm going to read one sentence that might help with the setting. It says they were family and they lived in one camp. So it must have been like a camp that they lived in outside. Yeah. So use what you have in the text. Use your clues to decide what the setting is. There's a couple of answers that would be right here, like outside, in the camp, 
in the wild, you know, something like that. Who are the main, most important characters? This and story doesn't have in the title. Imad. The main characters are the flies and the bees. Yeah, the <laughs> flies and the bees, or the bunny yarls and the waranenas. Remember, in the beginning of the story, they're not flies or bees yet. They're people. And then they turn into the flies and the bees. Um, let's talk about two more story elements. I want to talk about the problem and then about the central message. And then I think you can probably get started on your own. So what is the problem? What's happening? What's the challenge? What do you think the problem is? Um, London. The problem is, the problem is that it's the same problem as the ant in the grasshopper. Yeah. What is it? Is what? He didn't ask a question. <laughs> he was he was playing too much. The They're grasshopper was playing too much, and the ants were working. Yeah. So who's doing it in this story? The bee? <laughs> yeah, the bees, the bees, the Waranana's are working. You can think of it like Waranana starts with W and working starts with W. You know, Waranana's are working. And the bunny arls are being lazy. So what are they not going to have when winter comes? Nothing to have. So nothing to have. So then they don't need to be so cold. They're going to be cold and... Well, are they going to have food? No. No, because they're not collecting their honey, right? Okay. No. So given the fact that that's the problem in this story, what do you think is the central message? I want someone to share, but like with a complete, nice, second grade, high quality type sentence. Who thinks they can do that for us? I know you all can do it. Hmm. I think we might just have to pick somebody, Miss D. Um, let's see. Okay. What is the central message? Anaya, do you want to try it? Anaya. Anaya. What do you think the central message is? Can you unmute yourself? Honey, you're muted. There you go. That means that you are paying attention. Anaya, what do you think is the central message of this story? Do you know or do you need some help? I need help. You need okay. Help. Okay. Um, Daviana, can you help Anaya? Yes. Okay, great. Anaya, make sure you're listening. Okay. I forgot what the question was. What is the central message in the story, Bunny Yurl the Flies and We're None of the Bees? The central message is sometimes, sometimes, sometimes there's a time for work and sometimes there's a time for playing around. You kiss that brain. Your brain. Exactly. Sometimes there's a time for work and a time for play. Get your work done and then you can play, which leaves us on a wonderful, wonderful note, friends, that you should get your work done and then you should go play. Okay? I love that for you guys. Yeah, I'll, it usually will post at 1030, but I'll post it right now. I have reading today. You, yeah, you do your reading too and, and you can play in between or you can play after, okay? Make sure to send us a picture of what you're doing this weekend. Oh, yeah. Do you guys need um, anything from us? Do you have questions? What's going on? Hi, buddy. Prince, who's that? Oh, 